Hello, this is Robin at Robin's Realm Readings, and I'm reading for Capricorn Singles. I've decided that for February, I'm going to do something very special for you guys. Um, okay, and I'm going to be doing separate videos for couples and singles, all right? And so we can focus on the energy separately. For those who are committed, then we can look at their relationship. And those who are single, absolutely. Nine of coins, babies. Nine of coins for you guys. So, this is a general reading. Oh, I can't do it that way. It's a general reading, so it will not apply to all of you. Uh, there will be parts, bits, and pieces that may make sense to you because it's a general energy. I take it off the collective, my intuitive empath energy. and I take it off the collective energy, so... Here we go, Capricorn lovelies. I hope you're doing good. I love you, and I hope you have a great Valentine's, even if it's hanging out with friends. You know, because some of us are not in relationships. Absolutely single to the bingle. Single. You know what I mean? So Capricorn, lovely single Capricorns. This is the lover's path. I will be clar clarifying with the Celestial Tarot and bringing you some love romance cards. So let's take a look at what's going on with you guys. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut these. Cutting the deck for Capricorn Singles, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for you. This is what Robin's Realm is pulling up for you. All right. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck first. The bottom of the deck, we have the Devil card. This is your own card. This is temptation, and it's the uh, uh, it's the desire to go to extremes one way or another in anything that you do. Um, you're being you're in you're kind of being true to yourself, but be very careful about extremes. Okay, let me see if you can see this. this. If you can't see this, I'm going to change the camera for you. Okay. So Capricorn Singles, let's see what's going on with your love life, okay? This is for February, and I've already cut the card, so let's see what's happening. You're coming up as the moon card right now. Maybe you're not seeing everything so clearly. Maybe you are feeling like you're missing something, and you're tempted to work harder to find it. And it could very well be love. But the moon card is like illusions and not seeing everything 100%. <gasps> or being extraordinarily dreamy. You guys have two of cups. <gasps> Holy moly, that's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Someone is seeing you eye to eye. Some of you have met a true love. And are falling. You're falling hard. Be very, very careful that you don't move too fast or you don't move too slow. Because in order to stay on each other's, you have to stay on each other's frequency. And that takes work, you guys. You know, you're, you're falling into this beautiful state of dreaminess. But watch out for temptation. What else is showing for you? Oh, the tower. <sighs> Whoa, hardcore. Wow. So you have three major arcanas over you guys right now. Oh, my Lord, let's see. This is an event. This is a state of being. And this is a state of being. Being tempted to be in, the, in a, some kind of an illusion about a relationship uh, is very bad. Someone may get frustrated and may bring a tower moment to you, which means, bam, I'm done, or surprise, some big event will happen. So you're being warned to be very, very cautious about your approach to love right now. Be very, very brilliant about it. Be brilliant, okay? You guys, uh, somebody may have found a lover, uh, a soulmate, but there's something going to happen. I don't know what it is. So let me clarify by using the witch. I'm going to use the witch's tarot 
They're easier to shuffle and work with. They're very clear. And I just love them. So if, you, uh, if you're experiencing any of this, Capricorns, be sure to scroll down and leave me a message and tell me. I don't mind. I don't, I mean, you don't have to show your dirt. But hit that like button and tell me you like my videos and that you're working with me and support my channel. I thank you for that. Keep going. Let's see. Illusion. Clarify the illusion for me, spirit and universe for Capricorn singles. Well, maybe you don't see all the prosperity that's in front of you. Or maybe you do, and this is your plan and your goal to achieve, fulfill, complete prosperity. Family, you're dreaming of this, okay? You're dreaming of this, Capricorn singles. This commitment with family and the dog, family dog, and generations hanging out together, and this beautiful house in the background. This represents great stability and love and romance, connection. These two are definitely connected. The grandfather is showing the baby something sparkly. I don't know what that is. But it looks like magic happening. You want magic to happen in this, with this new lover that you have. What is this? Um, clarify the Ten of Pentacles for me, please, for Capricorn Singles. What else is accompanying this energy? The moon and the ten of coins. Now, I want you to know that the coins are, this is a water energy. It's emotion that you're going to be feeling. This is also emotion that you're going to be feeling. This is going to definitely bring emotion. It may not be what you want, but there has to be a reason for it. So why do we have dreamy illusion with complete fulfillment financially and grounded family? There's the Three of Cups here. So there's joy and happiness, and they're celebrating. Um, with others, there's this... Mm, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, my God. Now, you know, I told you this is a general reading. And if you want an exclusive reading for yourself, just contact me at robinsrealmreadings at gmail.com. It's in the box below. I'm here to help you to dig up what's going on and look at the energies around you. So this is not a personal reading, and this will apply to maybe one or two of you, maybe a few of you. I don't know. I want you to know that this could be rejoicing with friends that you found someone who is your equal, your equal partner, someone who can look you square in the eyes and cannot take their hands off of you, someone who gives you their cup equally. It's respectful love. It's kind. It's uh, the best kind. So some of you have that, but some of you might be experiencing a third party. Now, in this reading, the only tempted, the reason I say that is because you have the devil card here, and you have the three of cups, and you might be, uh, you might be thinking you can have your cake and eat it too, or somebody does in the relationship. But since that's your particular card, we're talking to you, Capricorn singles. All right, show me, please. What else is going on here with the Ten of Pentacles and the two of, and the Three of Cups? The Star card. That's just pure happiness. I'm sorry. That's just pure happiness right there. Somebody's got hope. Or they might be seeing an Aquarian on the side. Or this lover may be an Aquarian that you're absolutely crazy about. Um, or a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, there's so much water in this reading. There's water in this card. There's water in this card. And there's water in this card. And this card. So there's a, a, some of you are in love with a Cancer. Or a Scorpio. Or a Pisces. Mmm. How dreamy is all that? You have a lot of dreamy energy. It's very seductive and it's very powerful. The Aquarius card is a star of hope and benevolence. You're being guided from the other side to keep yourself balanced. Make sure that you keep yourself very balanced. It's not all about money. Sometimes you need to break away from the goals of 
working so hard for money and, and possessions and things, and focus on love. Show me this Two of Cups. Who is this Two of Cups in, in Capricorn Singles' life? The King of Cups, indeed. It looks like a water sign for you. And he's accompanied by a Leo. Wow, okay. There's Leo energy. There's strength required. This is a very practical, uh, mature energy, the King of Cups. Uh, this is someone who knows how to use their love, share their love universally. They're very kind, very secure in themselves. And, of course, that's attractive to you. Very many of you are working with uh, Scorpio right now. I know that. And the Strength card has come up to show you that. Look at this beautiful soul. This is uh, you guys and the, the depiction of your relationship, okay? And your love life. And you're, it's a strong love, okay? It's very, very strong. Because this beautiful woman has absolutely no fear of this gigantic beast that could rip her to shreds because she's got mastery over it. She's using divine energy to do this. Wow. That's so beautiful, you guys. Now, let's see what uh, the outcome of this uh, King of Cups and the Strength card and the Two of Cups for you. I do love readings. I do soul path readings, life path readings, love readings, reconciliation readings, uh, marriage readings, soulmate, twin flame, and past life, and Akashic readings as well, my dears. I can pull in archangels, I can pull in goddesses, I can pull in hidden realms, healing cards, anything you need. So contact me at Robin's Realm Readings at Gmail. Let's take another look at this. Karma. This may be a past life relationship that you're in. This is karma, but it's actually um, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the Wheel of Fortune, you guys. Um, holy moly. <laughs> You're so blessed. Now show us the oppression card. Why did they get the tower? What is the tower about, please? It's about the fact that you're holding on too tight. Some of you may be feeling left out in the cold. Someone's going to be left out in the cold. Feeling less than... I don't understand. Let's see what's going on, Capricorn Singles. This is the um, power card of fire signs, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is new energy. It's powerful energy. It's a brand new start. Somebody may lose money is what I'm seeing. I see someone losing money somewhere. Be very careful that you're, not, that you're not tempted to spend too much money with your brand new lover, okay? Use good grounding, good common sense uh, when spending time and money with them, okay? Be very cautious, uh, but don't be hung up on it. You got the Wheel of Fortune again, the Karma card. Man, Jesus. So the Wheel of Fortune has come up to tell you that your destiny has shown up. You will have a new opportunity to recover from this tower moment, which may show up sometime in February. And you may be able to recover because you have the Wheel of Fortune. And here's your coin right there. So that looks really good. Now give me two outcome cards, please, for Capricorn singles on the planet. Thank you, Spirit. The King of Wands is here to tell you that your passions are true. Uh, some of you will be falling in love with the King of Wands, a fire sign. Some of you are in love with a water sign. Some of you are in love with a, a, an Aquarian. And some of you are in love with, well, I guess fire sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Leo, Leo. Hmm, maybe a Leo. And the Emperor or an Aries. You'll be working with an Aries, Capricorn, Singles, what is going on, you lucky ducks? Whoa. If you want a clarification on this reading, 
I'm happy to look into it for you. So let's take a look at the Romance Angels for you. And we'll leave it at that. Um, personal readings are very important if you want to know what's going on. Okay, so my loves, here goes. Romance Angels. We're, they're telling you to release your ex. That might be the Tower card. This is worth waiting for. And this here is unrequited love with somebody that's making you feel left out in the cold. Or they're left out in the cold. And they might very well be a fire sign. Left out in the cold. You have to release them. If you've had someone in your life that's come in and brought their wand to you and promised you love but never gave it to you, never proved it to you, never gave you the proof you deserved, and they uh, came in and stole your heart and stole your body and made love to you because here's the devil card. And they made love to you and they made you feel like you were loved but they aren't the one. And you know it because you met the one now. And they are worth waiting for whatever you have to do whatever karma you have to clear up, to be with this soulmate that has come into your space. Do that work, please. The Romance Angels are here to help you. Okay? They're here to give you some guidance. One more. Give your relationship a chance so you have a new opportunity showing up for you, my loves. This is beautiful. I loved it. I enjoyed reading for you. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you've ever had readings from me, I want to thank you personally right now and hope that you have a wonderful February. I'm here for you. If you've ever ordered a reading from me and you've gotten a certain price because you came in at a better price range, uh, then you will always get that price. This is a way that I operate Robin's Realm readings. Is If you get an, a, a reading from me for $22 or $33, well, right now they're 33.33. So if you get a reading from me this month for 33.33, you will always get your readings for 33.33 unless I have a special of buy one, get one going on. And I do, but it's only for current clients. I want to stay in touch and, and to guide them through their path and be here for them and to encourage and lift spirits and tap people into the higher forms of energy and encouragement. And this is what I'm about. I thank you for coming to my channel. I love you Capricorn singles. Tell me in the comments. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe if you wish. And the notification bell. And I will send you readings. Love you. Blessings from Robin's Realm. Bye.